Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about setting up WPLMS on a multi-site environment. So as you can see, I have a blank WordPress setup here and it is not a multi-site setup as of now. So first thing we need to do is to convert this setup into a multi-site multi setup. So if you quickly search, And here we see that we th these are set of instructions that we need to follow to make the WordPress site into a multi-site setup. So first one is is backup and verifying the pretty permalinks. So for that we go to settings permalinks and convert it to the post name permalink structure. Save changes. Next is that we need to add this line to WP config. So we go to our cPanel and locate the WP config file. And here we add the multi site true save changes and now we should see administration tools network setup so now if we go to our dashboard in tools we see a network setup so here we can set up the network title and now it gives us the other uh, instructions that we need to add this to our WP config file which is here once again and in HD access we need to write this So here we need to enable hidden files and we see the HD access by this instead of pasting it afterwards we need to replace it and save the changes. So now that we log in, we see that we get a my sites section here. Now we upload our theme. So for themes, we go to network admin themes and we upload the WPLMS theme here. So now we need to network enable the theme. It is optional, but we enable it network wide. Next is that in our first subsite, we can activate this theme. You can create a new subsite and activate the theme there. So here we'll go to themes and activate the WPLMS theme. So we recommend you to use the blank child theme here instead of activating the main theme. So activating the theme loads the setup wizard and then we configure the setup wizard just like a regular WordPress setup. So our default setup is ready. We'll have to re-import the slider as you can see. So it's usually a network error. 
so once this is ready we can go to the network headband dashboard and note that by default the buddy press is installed as a as a network activated plugin so here we can enable the site creation from the buddy press site so if we go to our primary site and here in the settings buddy press section we enable the site tracking and in pages here you can see that we get the site directory section and if we view this page you see that we have got the sites and multi site here so here if we enable the so the registration is currently disabled so if we go to this page the link here if we can enable the logged in user may register new sites setting and save the changes you will see that we get this option here to create a new site so this thing the the create site option by default will be available to all the logged in user because we have set the setting that all logged in users may register new sites however you can control this setting from the WPLMS buddy press section also note that the this sites appear in the multi site the main domain slash sites and here we can set this that the site registration create block multi site is only available to instructors or administrators and save the changes so now you can create the sub sites in your multi site setup directly from here and you can fill up all the details for example oh if we visit the site it opens fine as you can see so here once again just like any other regular wordpress setup we go to the dashboard and in appearance themes we can activate wplms theme or any other theme here and then we go through the setup wizard and you can create new sites in your multi site setup and even allow instructors to create their own sites for your school or academy so that's it from wplms tutorials thanks for watching